Actress Stéphane Audrin is a well-known name in the movie world, praised for her amazing acting over many years. She captured people's attention with her talent and became an icon of the film industry. Share your favorite memories or stories about this legendary actor below. Coming up, we'll talk about some interesting facts about her. Keep watching for more. Born in France in 1932, Stéphane Audrin had a typical upbringing in Versailles. Initially not considering acting, Audrin discovered her interest in theater and cinema during her teenage years. Encouraged by her family, she pursued acting and attended drama school. Audrin's career progressed steadily, starting with small roles in theater before moving on to television and film. Collaborating with director Claude Chabrol proved pivotal, leading to several successful films and establishing her as a prominent figure in French cinema. Her talent, grace, and skill in portraying characters captivated audiences and critics alike. Known for her subtle yet impactful performances, Audrin earned acclaim and prestigious awards such as the BAFTA and the César. Throughout her career, she explored diverse roles, demonstrating versatility and dedication to her craft. Despite challenges, Audrin remained resilient and committed to her passion for acting. Her enduring influence continues to inspire aspiring actors, emphasizing the importance of perseverance and authenticity in pursuing dreams. Stéphane Audrin, a well-known actress, worked closely with her husband, Claude Chabrol, who directed her in many films. Together, they made 24 movies, one TV movie, and one TV episode. During the filming of The Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie in 1972, Louis Buñuel jokingly embarrassed Audrin by calling her Mrs. Chabrol in front of everyone. However, her co-star Delphine Seyrig reassured her as she knew Buñuel's playful nature from previous work together. For Le Boucher, Audrin had a specific co-star in mind. After seeing Jean Yan's performance in This Man Must Die, she suggested to Chabrol that Yan be cast alongside her. She even proposed creating a new character to complement Yan's intense acting style. Audrin's collaborations with Chabrol and her experiences on set demonstrate her dedication to her work and her ability to spot talent. In the 1950s, she started acting on stage, appearing in plays like La Tragédie des Albagies, La Maison Carré, and La Nuit Romain. However, her stage career didn't take off like some of her peers. She moved into movies, getting small roles until she met Gerard Blaine, who introduced her to director Claude Chabrol. He cast her in Les Cousins, starting their collaboration. While their early movies didn't get much praise, Les Bitches in 1968 signaled a change, leading to a series of successful thrillers. Their partnership lasted over two decades, ending with Betty in 1992, where her character met a poignant end. She felt it would be their final project together. Their relationship ended when he fell for Aurore Chabrol, whom she jokingly suggested during the filming of Ten Days Wonder. Despite his claims, she denied any involvement in their romance. Throughout her career, she acknowledged his crucial role in her success. Their collaboration left a lasting impression on French cinema. Stéphane Audrin, known to many as the mother of actor Thomas Chabrol, had her own share of apprehensions and surprises throughout her career. Before filming The Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie in 1972, she felt uneasy about working with Delphine Seyrig, a fellow student at Tania Balachova's theater classes, whom she initially found pretentious. However, their collaboration turned out to be harmonious, contrary to her initial concerns. In another instance, Audrin, along with Marie Laferate, emerged as the female winners of Raymond Rouleau's radio competition Nascent's Duna Toil, aimed at discovering acting talents. The male winners were Claude Berry and Bernard Tiffany. Despite any initial uncertainties, Audrin's talent and adaptability shone through in her collaborations and achievements. She navigated the intricacies of the acting world with grace and professionalism, leaving a lasting impression on those she worked with. Stéphane Audrin's journey into acting faced early disapproval from her mother, who didn't like her daughter's love for dressing up and pretending. When she was just six years old, Stéphane lost her father, a doctor. Despite family difficulties, she pursued acting because it was something she enjoyed doing since she was a child. She was not only known for her acting skills, but also for her love of Provencal cooking, which she developed thanks to her first husband, Jean Louis Trintignant. Being married to him not only made her personal life better, but also introduced her to the world of cooking. A memorable incident happened while filming The Discreet Charm of the Bourgeoisie in 1972. Alongside Delphine Seyrig, she had a fashion competition wearing Lagerfeld and Chanel dresses. 
They asked the director, Louis Buñuel, to show close-ups of the back of their dresses, and he agreed in exchange for a bottle of champagne and whiskey. Stéphane Audrin, a woman of resilience and passion for cooking, left a lasting impression not only in movies but also in the world of refined tastes. Her journey, marked by family challenges and memorable moments on set, shows a life enriched by both personal and professional pursuits. Stéphane Audrin, the well-known actress, surprised many with her fondness for horror films, as noted by Jessis Franco. According to him, she eagerly took on a role in Faceless in 1988 because she admired the genre. In 1968, Jean Louis Trintignant, her ex-husband, shared an interesting story about filming intimate scenes with her in Less Bitches. Trintignant confessed to feeling a bit uncomfortable during the scenes, especially with Audrin's new husband, Claude Chabro, present on set. Audrin began her acting journey by attending classes with notable instructors such as Charles Dullin, Renee Simon, and Tanya Balachova. Among her classmates were actors Delphine Seyrig and Michael Lonsdale. Interestingly, her first husband, Jean-Louis Trintignant, also attended the same classes. The actress's career and personal life are intertwined in various ways, influencing her decisions in the film industry. Stéphane Audrin, known for her roles in French cinema, pursued her passion for acting through René Simon's dramatic course. In 1953, she tied the knot with Jean-Louis Trintignant, but their relationship met its demise when he fell for Bridget Bardo on the set of And God Created Woman. During the filming of Bluebeard in 1963, producer Carlo Ponti criticized her performance, which sparked a confrontation with Claude Chabrol, who was already engaged to her. Chabrol fiercely defended his beloved and eventually walked down the aisle with her a year later. Their love story, intertwined with the drama of the film industry, remains a captivating tale of romance and resilience. Stéphane Audrin formed close friendships with Jean Carmet and Alexandra Stewart. Her husband Claude Chabrol, a great gourmet, showcased his culinary skills during the shooting of the discreet charm of the bourgeoisie, preparing delicious dishes for the cast and crew to enjoy on set. Chabrol once remarked that Audrin's performance in a bus scene in The Breach, where her character Haleen recounts her family's story to a lawyer, marked the moment he recognized her talent as an actress. Her camaraderie with Carmet and Stewart and the culinary delights provided by Chabrol added richness to her experiences on and off the screen. Stéphane Audrin, a well-known actress, starred alongside her former husband Jean-Louis Trintignant in three films Less Bitches Without Apparent Motive and Boulevard Des Assassins. It's interesting to note that they never worked together while they were married. In a public exhibition called Bernadette Lafont L Exposition Homage on December 6, 2013, Stéphane Audrin participated alongside actors Guillaume Gouix and Alexandra Stewart. The event included readings from Bernard Bastide's biography Bernadette Lafont, Une Vie de Cinema, which contained original letters by Bernadette. Gerard Caron documented the event, which was later aired as an episode of Carnet's Filmes, titled In Memoriam Bernadette Lafont. Initially unsure about playing Isabel Huppert's working-class mother in Violet, Stéphane Audrin's performance caught the attention of Gabriel Axel. This eventually led to her being considered for the lead role in Babette's Feast, a film that became synonymous with Stéphane Audrin's career. In summary, Stéphane Audrin worked with her ex-husband in several films, participated in a tribute exhibition to Bernadette Lafont, and landed a significant role that shaped her cinematic legacy. Her journey in the world of cinema is marked by diverse experiences that have contributed to her lasting impact.